Welcome to Great Hymns of the Faith. My name is John Frazier. I'm your host. Say, I have several hymns all lined up, ready to share with you today, and I trust that you will enjoy them. And we are going to begin our program with a hymn that perhaps I think it must be at the top of the list of favorite hymns. The author was Carl G. Boberg, and he composed a poem later someone put to music. And it has come down to us all, you know what? Let me tell you. It's called How Great Thou Art. That was the Glasgow Phoenix Choir singing the very popular hymn, How Great Thou Art. Now, we all are familiar with the author of our next hymn. The hymn is called, He Hideth My Soul, and the author is none other than Fanny Crosby. A wonderful Savior is Jesus my Lord, a wonderful Savior to me. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock where rivers of pleasure I see. I hope you will enjoy it.
year was 1923. The gentleman's name was Thomas O. Chisholm. And it was Thomas Chisholm who penned the words to our next hymn. It's entitled, and by the way, it's a favorite of many as well, Great is Thy Faithfulness. And according to Chisholm, there was no special circumstances which caused its writing, just his experience and Bible truth. Enjoy the hymn. Every once in a while, folks, we come across a hymn, a well-known hymn, in many cases, author is unknown. And that's the case with our next hymn. It comes out of the 7th century. We're going back a number of years for this one. It was translated from Latin to English by John M. Neal in the year 1851. Hymn is called Christ is made the sure foundation.
you will recall that the first time I shared with you, I mentioned the fact that it was probably number one on the top of the chart. Well, here is a second one that would parallel with it. And I think probably if a contest were held, it would be a tie. And this hymn by John Newton is called, you know it, Amazing Grace. How many times have we said to someone, hey, would you please say a little prayer for me? Or how many times have we said to someone, look, I'm going to pray for you. Prayer is so important. Most of us were taught to pray by our mothers when we were just little children. You remember the prayer, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Well, our next hymn speaks about prayer. It speaks about standing in the need of prayer.
remember singing Standing in the Need of Prayer during your Sunday school days? Hey, great to hear that one again. Well, John Newton, we know, was the author of Amazing Grace, number one, along with How Great Thou Art on our music chart. But John Newton also wrote a number of other hymns as well. And Newton is the author of our next hymn, composed in the year 1779. And the hymn is called Glorious Things of Thee Are Spoken. Sarah B. Rhodes, her date's 1829 to 1904. She was born in Sheffield, Yorkshire, England. She was the wife of a master silversmith in Sheffield. She was also a sculptress and a hymn writer. Upon her husband's death, she became head of the Warsaw Girls' School. And somewhere in between all of this, folks, she found the time to write our next hymn, and it is called God Who Made the Earth. God who made the earth, the air, the sky, the sea, who gave the light its birth, careth for me.
That hymn, by the way, was written for a group of Sunday school children. It is surprising, folks, how many of our hymns were written by Sunday school teachers or their Sunday school students. Now, the next hymn contains some solid advice. It's a hymn that we would all do well to keep in mind, especially when we're going through difficult times. Some people try anything and everything in order to get through difficult times. This hymn tells us where to go for our help. Where could I go but to the Lord? That last selection was really a gospel piece rather than a hymn, but say, where could we go when we're going through difficult times but to the Lord? I hope that you will keep that in mind during the coming days as well. It's always great to share great hymns of the faith with people who enjoy great hymns of the faith and love to hear them. And if you have a selection, a hymn that you haven't heard for a while, please let me know. Send me an email, doulos, I'll spell it for you, d-o-u-l-o-s-r-e-v at gmail.com. Or write me, John Frazier at 4072 Rivercrest Circle here in Leesburg, Florida. That's 34748. See you next week. God bless.